And we start with big news coming in from the United States. Mira Rickardell, the White House Deputy National Security Advisor, has been removed from her position. This comes after U.S. First Lady Melania Trump said that Rickardell did not deserve the honor of working with her husband. White House spokesperson Sarah Sanders said in a statement, and I quote, Rickardell will continue to support the president as she departs the White House to transition to a new role within the administration. This is the latest that's coming in. Melania Trump seems to be leading the new round of White House firing and fury as the Deputy National Security Advisor, Mira Rickardell, prepares for a fast-paced exit. Even compared with the senior staff, Niffing's bureaucratic turmoil and raging chaos has plagued the White House off late. But this certainly is the new normal for President Donald Trump's White House. This is what we are picking. The latest is Mira Rickardell, the White House Deputy National Security advisor has been removed from her position, as has also been confirmed by White House spokesperson Sarah Sanders, who in a statement said that Rickardell will continue to support the president as she departs the White House to transition to a new role within the administration. As we all know, she has also been a close ally to National Security Advisor John Bolton. And with her departure, Bolton is expected to lo uh, lose out on one of his key allies. She's also reported to have burnt bridges with Defense Secretary Jim Mattis and the Chief of Staff John Kelly. So this is the latest that we are getting on the fast-paced exit of the Deputy National Security Advisor, Mira Rickardell. She's also one of the highest-ranking women in the West Wing. It's been a fast-paced exit for Rickardell. And reports have suggested that it was United States First Lady Melania Trump's visit to Africa that started a feud between Rickardell and the U.S. First Lady. That's when, post her exit, is when Melania Trump actually decided to have her fired, as reports have been suggesting. Rickardell is a close ally to John Bolton, the National Security Advisor of United States. This, the timing of the entire event has been particularly interesting since Bolton is involved with the East Asia Summit in Singapore that is currently underway today. Rickardell's stint at the White House is also reported to be a controversial one as she's known to have burnt bridges with Jim Mattis. And to bring us more details on this new story, I am also joined in by our Washington correspondent, Giles Gibson. Giles, greetings to you. Indeed, you know, the deputy national security advisor is firing. She is one of the highest ranking women from the West Wing. This is big news. Tell me, what is it that caused this fast-paced exit for Ricardell? Well, of course, earlier in the week, we had this extraordinary statement that came out of the East Wing. That's what the uh, the First Lady's uh, sort of side of the White House is known as. Um, we had this statement coming from 
Melania Trump's spokesperson saying uh, that Ricardo, quotes, no longer deserves the honor of serving in this White House. Ever since that statement came out, and of course you've been talking about these swirling reports here in Washington about uh, Ricardel's possible exit from the White House, uh, we've had uh, no confirmation that she is actually leaving. Now we have this statement from Sarah Sanders, the White House pre press secretary, confirming that Ricardo will leave her position, will exit the White House, uh, although it's slightly uh, changed in terms of the fact uh, that she, uh, the White House press secretary, are also saying that she will transition to a new role in the Trump administration. We haven't yet uh, had any details about what that new role could possibly be, though. Right, Giles, I'm also being told that, uh, you know, with her departure, security advisor John Bolton will also be losing out on one of his key allies, which is Ricardel. And Ricardel is also credited for fortifying his position as the national security advisor. That's right. This was very much seen as a power play within the White House between John Bolton, the national security adviser, who, according to reports, was really fighting to keep her in her job, to keep her in the White House ever since this statement came out of the uh, First Lady's office. On the other hand, uh, the other side of that power play, we uh, saw Melania Trump, the, the First Lady, really sort of, you know, flexing her muscles within the White House, within this administration, putting out that statement uh, after we'd had reports that the two women uh, had clashed on the First Lady's tour of Africa during October, uh, reports that they clashed over uh, seating arrangements on a plane, uh, and also reports that she's been clashing Ricardel uh, with a very senior member of the Trump team, that's uh, James Mattis, the, uh, the, right. uh, uh, the U.S. Defense Secretary. Right. Tell us more about Ricardel and her controversial stint in the White House, because we're also being told that she's somebody who's known for having burnt bridges with the De Defense Secretary Jim Mattis and the Chief of Staff John Kelly. Well, that's right. Ricardel uh, has a long record, a very long CV of serving within uh, different administrations. And uh, that could be what's behind uh, this statement from the press secretary saying that she'll be leaving the White House, but they'll be finding her a new role. Uh, she'll be transitioning into a new role uh, somewhere else in another department, perhaps within uh, the White House. Really, this is expected to be the first of very many departures from the White House uh, right. over the coming days and the coming weeks. There are rumors swirling around about all sorts of different members of the Trump administration who could possibly be exiting, uh, including the White House Chief of Staff, John Kelly. Right, Giles, last but not the least, is Melania Trump now leading the fresh round of fury and firing? Because as we all know, Donald Trump's presidency has been plagued a lot of firing and there's been too much chaos in the White House already. Well, this is not the first time that we've seen clashes from a, a first lady with inside the, inside the White House uh, with a member of the, sort of the White House team. We saw that in the Clinton years with uh, Hillary Clinton very much throwing her weight around inside the White House from the East Wing. We also saw it during the, the Bush years as well. I think this is unusual in the sense that we had this sort of open war, this public statement put out by the First Lady Melania Trump's office, uh, and now that's uh, clearly led to uh, Mira uh, Ricardel's departure from her job as Deputy National Security Advisor, uh, although she could find herself another job within the administration. Uh, Sarah Sanders, as I was saying, uh, saying that she will transition to a new role in the administration. Meanwhile, really, uh, we're all on watch now to see who could possibly be following her through that revolving door at the White House. Uh, all sorts of rumors about John Kelly, as I was saying, uh, as well as the Homeland uh, Security uh, Secretary uh, Kirsten Nielsen as well.